YouTube. This is Rusty from Possum Bayou. I have a video tonight. Two freight cars that I had bought from the Inscale Junction. They're both Mississippi Export Railroad box cars. They're actually two different box cars, even though they look very similar. One's a FMC box car and the other one's a ACF box car. The FMC box car is a Fox Valley Models, and the ACF is an Atlas Train Man. Now, it's crazy how these things get here. I ordered them. I forget which day it was, but anyway, I ordered them. It took almost a week for them to finally get here. Now, the people I ordered from sent them pretty quick. You know, they shipped them out pretty quick. But the Postal Service, you know, I live in, on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. So they, you know, it comes out of Delaware, it goes to Philadelphia. Okay, Pennsylvania, that makes sense. Then this thing ends up, yeah, it's in Dallas, Texas after that. Then it's in another area, and it's in Irvington, Texas, and another little area right there in Texas. I think it's just in a little, uh, probably in the same building, I don't know. It's like a big hub there or something, the best I can figure. And then after that, even crazier, then it ends up in Oxford, Mississippi. This in North Mississippi. Not even close to And it's not even close to being any kind of a main hub of anything. Then the next thing, then it ends up in Mobile, Alabama, which a lot of times from there it comes to where I live. But nope, then they send it over to Gulfport, which is on the other side, about as far from me as Mobile is to the east. Then finally the next day it gets here. Like I was saying, Supposed to be here on a Saturday, gets here on a Tuesday. But anyway, enough of that complaining. Neat little interesting story, but I was like, what in the world? I was wondering if it ever get here. I got some track that I ordered from all the train stuff, and it's coming UPS. I don't know. It's kind of heading a straight line, looks like. So, But like I said, the Postal Service, I don't know what they were doing. That's the second thing I've ordered that went around the world. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to show you these cars. I'm going to do, I'm not going to compare the two as much as anything as I'm going to show the, more or less tell about each one of them. So on with the video. First, we'll talk about this Atlas Train Man ACF boss car. Let's move the Fox Valley out of the way. One thing you can tell by looking at this thing, has some pretty good details here. You got your, you can see your ribs. You can see a lot of the door detail. It's all molded on. That's the doors molded there. It doesn't open or close. Typical for Train Man series. Got molded in hand grabs and stirrup. They're a little thicker than the see some models, but they're pretty good. Gives you the illusion that there's something there to climb on. Have the same thing on this end of it. This writing here is actually under magnification. You can read it. These little placards here on this end, not so much. You have this Mississippi Export emblem here. The lettering in it is not quite like I would want it, but it's not too bad. It's it's legible, but. Not exactly like I would like to have seen it. We're going to come over here to the top. You can see you have the galvanized top. I assume that's what that is. Now you'll notice this car is different than the next one. I'm going to show you because this one looks like the top and was, you know, mask from the bottom separately. I'm not sure they would have actually done that, but that's fine. It is a little different boss car. Just looking at the two sitting together, you couldn't tell it. But look at the end. Got some end detail. Got a little molded in platform. You see all the molding. You got a little printing there. You can read the numbers there. It has separate applied brake wheel. It's plastic, by the way. And a molded on platform there, and you got the molded on ladder detail there. 
So look at the bottom of it. This is not quite as important to me, but there's some pretty good detail onto the bottom of this car. Sends this a train man, bottom of line Atlas special here. And you got your normal Accumate couplers with plastic wheels on the bottom. The, the automatic couplers that Atlas provides on their rolling stock. Overall, it's a pretty good looking car. Uh, I said you can see it just a barely bump. It rolls fairly, fairly well. Not a bad looking car. First, we'll talk about this Atlas Train Man ACF boss car. Let's move the Fox Valley out of the way. One thing you can tell by looking at this thing, has some pretty good details here. You got to, you can see your ribs, you can see a lot of the door detail. It's all molded on. That's the doors molded there. It doesn't open or close. Typical for Train Man series. Got molded in hand grabs and stirrup. They're a little thicker than the C some models, but they're pretty good. Gives you the illusion that there's something there to climb on. Have the same thing on this end of it. This writing here is actually under magnification. You can read it. These little placards here on this end, not so much. You have this Mississippi Export emblem here. The lettering in it is not quite like I would want it, but it's not too bad. It's it's legible, but not exactly like I would like to have seen it. We're going to come over here to the top. You can see you have the galvanized top. I assume that's what that is. Now you'll notice this car is different then the next one I'm going to show you, because this one looks like the top and was, you know, masked from the bottom separately. I'm not sure they would have actually done that, but that's fine. It is a little different boss car. Just looking at the two sitting together, you couldn't tell it. But look at the end. Got some end detail. It's got a little molded-in platform. You see all the molding. You got a little printing there. You can read the numbers there. It has separate applied brake wheel. It's plastic, by the way. And a molded on platform there. And you got your molded on ladder detail there. So look at the bottom of it. This is not quite as important to me, but there's some pretty good detail under the bottom of this car. Since it's a train man, bottom of line Atlas special here. And you got your normal Accumate couplers with plastic wheels on the bottom. The, the automatic couplers that Atlas provides on their rolling stock. Overall, it's a pretty good looking car. Uh, I said you can see it. Just a barely bump. It rolls fairly, fairly well. Not a bad looking car. I got more show the difference in the paint scheme of these two cars. Now, when you look at this car here compared to that car, there's one thing that you'll notice. This one has the white lettering here, while this one has black. And I looked at pictures online and between the FMC and ACF cars, that is a prototypical difference. Some of the cars that you find will have the white and some like the F ACF cars will have or the black. And the other thing, <coughs> as you'll notice, is this emblem here. Notice this one here, and that one. Notice how this one has a black outline, and it's a little bigger than this one. There's a difference in the prototype like that as well. It's not just, they just didn't paint it. 
that's how this particular prototype looks. And that's how that prototype is. So they both kind of hit their prototype pretty good, I think. And like I said, the train man hit the one right here. It's not quite as clear, but there again, you're looking at a $12, $13 car as opposed to a $17, $18 car that we got over here. So that's just the, the main difference there. Like I said, train man series is the bottom line for Atlas for the most part. Fox Valley is probably more close to their master line series. So there you have it. There's a little review of those two separate box cars, even a little bit of a comparison, specifically showing the difference in the paint schemes. They're not a lot of difference, but there was a difference, and the difference shows up in the prototype. That's the important thing. I really, I never paid attention as all these years I've seen these little yellow cars. Cause I live in an area where they, the, the southernmost point of the Mississippi Export Railroad dead ends, not not far from here. Interchanges with the CSX, as a matter of fact. I'd never noticed that there was two different. I don't even know why. I just never really looked into it. Then I go to digging these box cars up. Then I go look at, wait a minute, why does that one have yellow print and that one's black? Then I got to looking up and found out, well, prototypical. So, when you go digging into smaller train stuff, sometimes you find a little gem that you never realized. So, hope you liked the video. And if you did, if you hadn't subscribed, subscribe and click the like button and ring the bell. Or you, that way you can get notifications of my crazy videos. Hopefully I'm getting better at these things. Sooner or later, I'll be a professional like some of the other guys. Good evening, everybody.